Sh- what's up, guys? And <laughs> ladies. And welcome to another episode of Action Figure Prop Shop. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to make miniature baseball bats for your action figures. Kick it! Alright, so kicking it off, you're going to need a wooden dowel rod. And I believe this one's 3 eighths of an inch thick. And length doesn't really matter. They usually come in like a long stick. But the longer it is, the more bats you can make. And we're going to chop them down to about 3 inches, I mean give or take. They could be a little longer, a little shorter, depending on what figure you're going to be using them for. So best bet is to kind of eyeball uh, the length and everything to whatever figure you're going to be using it for. And make sure wherever you're buying these, whether it be Michael's, Hobby Lobby, whatever craft store, that you're using the coupons. So use that 40%, that 50%, that buy one, get one free, whatever coupon they have. Make sure to use that. I mean, save your money for your figures, man. Make props cheap. Save your money for your figures. All right, now that you got the preferred length of the bat, you're going to want to start hacking at it. So I'm using a heavy-duty box cutter with a fresh blade. And just start hacking away. Start taking piece by piece. And make sure you leave a little uh, spot on the bottom for the butt of the bat. So I keep carving down to that spot. I just, with the blade, uh, with my box cutter, I just kind of made a notch all the way around so I have a stopping point. And then you just keep going. Just keep hacking piece by piece until uh, you get about the shape you want. And then we'll sand it. And please do not cut yourself. Please be careful and don't cut yourself. All right, so now you should have a rough shape of your baseball bat. And then this is the important part, the sanding. So you're going to want to sand away all the rough edges, make it symmetrical, as symmetrical as you can, get away all the sharp edges, make it perfectly round and smooth, and get your shape. And this is the crappiest part, but it's the most important part. If you, if you rush it, you don't do it right, the proportions are going to be off. All right, so I sanded the hell out of them. They should be good to go. Um, I might actually have to go back and touch a couple spots up. And it's always good to, you know, come inside, check it out under a couple different lights, maybe like in your bathroom where it's really bright, take a couple pictures. You want to make sure it looks good before you start painting or doing anything else. Like I said, sanding is one of the most important parts, even like in figure customizing and everything. Sanding is always important. It's the shittiest part of the process, but it's the most important. And I usually use like really fine grit sandpaper. You can use any sandpaper you want, but I usually have the best luck with really fine grit. All right, so we're ready to paint. So I got a little paper plate, got my bats. I'm gonna use two different kinds of paint. So I got this Citadel paint right here. Gonna water that down. Gonna add a little wash to it too. Got my little cup, got my brush. And yeah, it's a Pocahontas towel. What's up, do something. Pop this sucker open. Brush off. All right. Carve that sucker up. I got my wash. Come on, bitch. That yeah, should be good. Now get some water. A little bit more water. Just a little bit more water. All right, cool. That should be good. Mm, a little more water. Basically, you kind of want to stain it. So you want to kind of give it a stain. I mean, you can leave it just like that one, that really like light pale wood, but I like to stain it. It gives it a little more grit, makes it look a little more real. Once this dries, I'm going to add a wash to it using that. I'm just going to dry brush it or I could sponge it. Either way, um, just give it a little more grit and then I'm going to tape the, um, the grip right here. I'm going to put a grip on both the bats. So you can see after they dry, it's not that much darker, but I do like the color 
that the paint gives it other than the standard kind of pale color. All right, now for the grips of the bat, I got two different kinds of tape. That white tape is like a medical kind of tape, like the stuff that Macho Man wraps around his wrists and his fingers. Ooh, yeah. And then the black tape is hockey tape, like that you put on the grip of a hockey stick. So I'm going to cut little strips of that and then wrap them really tight around the bat. And after I wrap it really tight around the handle of the bat, kind of rub it with my fingers, and I'm going to probably even hit it with the lighter a little bit, really lightly though, just to kind of heat it up so that way it adheres really good. It's probably going to leave it a little sticky, but after you clear coat it, that should go away. All right, and the finished product's looking pretty legit. I hit them with the clear coat. It got rid of that stickiness from the grips, and I really like the way they turned out. And you can tell they're not all exactly the same. I made a couple different than the other, like a couple fatter, some of the grips a little fatter, a couple that are just a little longer than others. Uh, just depending on what figure you're going to use them for. I mean, you can shape them to whatever size you want. And you necessarily don't have to use the wooden dowel rod. You can use any kind of wood. You can use balsa wood. The reason I didn't use balsa wood is because of these little wooden dowel rods are a little sturdier than balsa wood. Balsa wood's a lot easier to carve and sand and everything. But when it comes down to it, they're not as durable. Like these, these little bats, I've dropped them a bunch of times. I've been messing with them, and they're really sturdy. Where balsa wood, you'd have to be really delicate, especially popping them in and out of figures' hands and everything that have a pre-posed grip. It could get a little sketchy, and um, especially leave indents too. Balsa wood, you can leave indents really easy or scratch the paint. So I hope you guys like my tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Subscribe, check out some of my other videos, <laughs> and we'll see you next time. I got a hero of this baseball, baseball bat, y'all.